Today, we ask the age-old question. Will it dip and dot? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Bring, bring. Mm hmm Okay. All right. Who, who is that? The future called. They say they want their ice cream back. What? The future wants to strip us of Dippin' Dots? Well, I have so many questions. What did the future's voice sound like? Did he sound like the rapper? Why did the future call you instead of me? And the most important question, if we GMMify the ice cream of the future, would it then be the ice cream of the present and we'd therefore be able to keep it forever? There's only one way to find out. It's time for Will, Will It Dippin' Dots? Dots? Okay, so to be considered a Dippin' Dot, all you need is a creamy base and some liquid nitrogen, look. Look at that. It's the future. They're real. Yes, I always get a little excited when I see a Dippin' Dot because. Oh, so fruity. My wife spent a summer in Santa Cruz working at a Dippin' Dot shop. I didn't know what you were gonna say. She would send me pictures. Of, of her Dippin' Dots? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you thought the Mythical Kitchen couldn't recreate Dippin' Dots in form, but also create them with brand new, never before tasted flavors, then you haven't been paying attention because they've done exactly that. So, if Dippin' Dots has changed the rules of ice cream form, then why can't the rules of when you eat ice cream change as well? Well, personally, I think ice cream has the potential to be a routine breakfast choice, specifically pancakes. May we present International House of Dippin' Dots, AKA I Hard. I Hard? I Hard. Josh, what did you do? So the base layer there, that is pancake flavored. Then you have your oh syrup gosh. flavored Dippin' Dots and your butter flavored Dippin' Dots. Syrup, butter, and this is crazy, man. Yeah. So we want to taste them separately first and no, then mix them? No, I'm going to mix them. We, we blended I'm going to do it the way that the I would base. do it. I'm going to do it the way I would do it if I was eating pancakes. I would put butter and then I would put. Well, I'm mostly interested in just the pancake one, so I'm eating that one alone right now. Syrup, and then I would put it all in my mouth like this. Well, that is a really good. You can get them real mixed up here. Flavor. Yeah, we soaked the cream in actual pancakes and then we blended some pancake into that before dropping it in the liquid nitrogen. This is a revolution. And what is the process? Or a revelation. Uh, I mean, I know you said what you did, but then what did you actually do? Like, so Dippin' Dots are made using liquid nitrogen, so we uh, drove to an undisclosed location to pick up a giant tank of liquid nitrogen that we are all super prepared to handle is safely. That, that's illegal? You know, ish. Um, we're not really sure about that, no one asked. My, why is my tongue burning? Uh, it's not burning, pass. it's freezing. That That's for IHOD d -d -d LLC to figure out in the lawsuit. Oh, I love everything about this, man. This is so good, man. This is what all food's gonna be like in the future? It's all gonna be dots? It's all gonna be dots, and is man. You, is your wife gonna serve us all? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna be... We're gonna all be serving her, my uh, friend. Okay, I just, I mean, I just had this vision. She's gonna be your, the queen. Of your of your wife, uh, just funneling Dippin' Dots into my mouth for every meal. Yeah. How does that make you feel? <laughs> no, I made him drop his dots. I made him drop his dots. I got under his skin a little bit. Uh, annoyed. Um. <laughs> and you know, my therapist told me that annoyance is just a form of anger. Oh. Well, well, then just go ahead and bypass the annoyance and be angry. I'm pissed. Leave my wife out of this. Hey, your wife is in the future, I can't help it. Is that an apology? <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Nothing, no argument. Back to this. This cures arguments. This is great. Pancakes, Pancakes. Will, will it dip and dot? dot? Yes! Swamp water, uh, you, you may have called it a graveyard. I'm talking about a chaotic, Mixture of all the soft drinks in the in the fountain they call that fountain. It's a childhood tradition of every adult's past. But what about the future? Let's make swamp water. We're calling it a dip in the swamp. Oh, I get it. Because it's like dipping dots is the name of the thing that we're doing, and then uh, one of the ways to describe getting into a body of water is to dip. And yeah. Swamp is a water. Form. Smell it at. 
Doesn't have much smell. There's no That's the thing about ice cream. I've smelled a lot of ice cream in my day. Yeah. Because it's cold. The molecules are too too still. Of course, we're, we're going with the the big gulp and jo- the Slurpee Josh, straw. Josh, what's going on in here? All right, so we made ice cream bases and then we infused that with Coke, Sprite, orange soda, brisk iced tea, fruit punch, Dr. Pepper, and Mountain Dew, and then we froze them all separately and there you have it. Look at the smoke coming off of that. Look at that, Link. That's definitely smoke. They're it's on, on fire. fire. Oh gosh, um, you really have to be careful. It's Good. Like, I know. This one's so, this one's so cold that you got one right there. You know, pretty close. Oh, to my, junk. my crotch is burning. I mean, it. And does, you just did it on me. It does feel like you're. It's burning. You got to have a layer of some sort of like saliva before you before you drop this bad boy down. I think the, you just have to do it all the way in the back of the throat without it touching any of your mouth parts. <laughs> uh, might be dangerous. <laughs> Josh is like. Uh, even Josh decided that we should mm. not do that. Put it to the side. Does this have any Dr. Pepper in it? I can actually yeah, taste it. Yeah, it does. Dr. It's Pepper. got yeah. Coke, Sprite, it's so orange weird. soda, brisk iced tea, fruit punch, Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew. Now, I'm gonna try just to get the Mountain Dew. If you Dew. saw an adult, because I'm just trying to put this into perspective, if you saw an adult doing saw a graveyard, adult. if you doing the graveyard thing, yeah. <laughs> would you lose respect? Like Def- if, if it was like if it was like a dad definitely. at a Soccer party and all the kids are doing it and he was like, well, I don't mind if I do. Rip, 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 rip. If the kids are doing it and he joins in, that's cool. Oh, he's doing it to show if off he's and be a, a cool dad? That's cool. If he's alone and you walk up on him and he's like, that's weird. Okay. That's weird. So we're a little bit weird eating this is what and I'm saying. And I mean, and this is coming from a man who is a, a complete child. Well, that's true. Don't say anything. <laughs> I don't, nope. I don't. I just don't love this. It's like there's a reason why soft drinks have flavors, so that you can taste. So that you them. can taste them not, instead of combine them. So you, you know, it's like it's, it's. You're not wrong. You are a child, but you're not wrong, child. <laughs> child, child. Okay, a child. I agree. Swamp water. Will it dip in dots? No. no. Okay, so we all know it would take a miracle for Link to like tomatoes, but maybe. Just maybe the magical process of turning bacon, lettuce, and tomato into frozen little bubble ball ice cream is exactly the miracle we need. Presenting the BLT DDD. Josh, what did you do? Is the frilly toothpick still in there? Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> just like it would be in a sandwich. <laughs> oh, you get it's, it. it's an ice cream s- sandwich. Whoa! All right, so we've got um, pink ones, which. I'm bacon. Gonna avoid tomato. That's tomato. The, the pink ones are tomato. There's some browner ones. That the are bacon. browner, orangish looking ones are bacon. Bacon. Mm-hmm. And then green. What, what are these moldy looking ones? The moldy looking ones. Lettuce. Yeah, are lettuce, the lettuce. Ice and then cream. The, the sort of cream looking ones Is are it? mayonnaise and bread. Oh, mayonnaise and bread and just oh. one dot. Uh huh. That sounds good. And I got a big clump of that. I'm gonna start with just the mayonnaise and bread. I'm taking it all in, brother. Ooh, that mayonnaise and bread. Ooh, that's tough. It's real tangy. Oh. It's not bad. Oh, don't commit as hard as I did. I'm, I know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna try. Like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna try some of the. Um, try the bacon. The bacon. The bacon is so. Just alone. That's the tomato. Oh. I'm gonna try this pink one that we just said was tomato. Hold on. I'm gonna keep trying it. It might be good, you like ketchup. Cause this is like, you know, a translated No, tomato. you know what? Josh, you said it backwards. The pink is definitely bacon. I was wondering why I was able to eat it. Mm. And then the... Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah. Cause you yeah. got liquid smoke in there. Yes, yeah, that, that was fortifying the bacon flavor. It's actually not bad. And then I'm gonna try the lettuce. Well, what's a straight tomato taste like? Oh, <laughs> that's the worst, dude. Mm. Fish food. You know what? Fish food. You're not gonna mind the tomato because it tastes like ketchup. It well, doesn't taste like a tomato. So let me try the tomato, and I'm only gonna try the tomato. It's pretty tangy, it might be the best one. Wow. Is good. that not good? Good gosh. It's good, it's flavor packed. Oh, whoa. Yeah, see, look at what's happening. How? Miracles before your very eyes. So, yeah, because it, it, it tastes like Ketchup concentrate, which you know you had to do something. Uh, you know our methods. Oh, it, am I right? It wasn't ketchup. It was a, a freeze dried tomato. Right. And then some. But the processing of it gets it takes away the texture of the tomato, which is a big part, mm-hmm. I think, of why you don't like tomatoes. So, so again, when I that. when I eat it all together now, 
I'm doing it without the lettuce. The tomato was definitely better than that lettuce, which that is a loser. Everything together. Oh. Do it together with no lettuce and it's not too bad. <laughs> Lettuce is so bad. Why is the lettuce so bad? Because lettuce is bad. It's an uphill battle, man. Trying to create lettuce dipping dots. BLT, will it dipping dots? No. no. Don't know if you noticed my amazing new sweatshirt. Oh, yes, I have. I've been thinking about it this whole time. Oh. Oh. I've also been <laughs> noticing how I'm on this shirt. I wonder if you could talk to Stevie now. Stevie, th I think this is your f your first appearance on on my my belly. <laughs> <laughs> hey. She says, "Oh, did you? Hey. Uh, oh, oh gosh, I already felt like this." <laughs> Look, so many things to be done with this shirt. <laughs> hey, this is a freaking cool sweatshirt. Get you, it at, You can do that at home. <laughs> get it at mythical.com. Stick your hands com. in your own shirt. Oh. That's cool, man. That's We're a like cool wolves, graphic. man. It's like it's We're like, like ironically cool. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. It's like ironically cool. Cuz it's like kind of cheesy, but like if you went to a gas station and you got one, you'd be like, "I'm cool cuz I have this." You yeah, know what I'm saying? Right. Many things have been cryogenically frozen, fruits, vegetables, and Walt Disney's head. Yeah. But what about raw fish, seaweed, and rice? Yum. Take that, Disney. Here we have <clears throat> poke dots. <clears throat> poke dots? Did you say Disney? Disney. Disney? Disney. <laughs> he did. <laughs> <laughs> Disney World. He, he got his hair frozen, didn't he? I'ma go to Disney World. Hey, Josh. Hey, Red, how you doing? What'd you do? Well, I, I made all my smoothies in the morning smell like fish because we blended a lot of fish into a lot of ice cream bases and then we, we kind of just dropped it in like the nitrogen. And then there's also avocado, seaweed, and onion in there as well. Ah. Uh, tuna and salmon, by the way, they, they were the cheapest. And I just got to a point where whenever my family would be like, let's get poke bowls, I was like, okay, and I'll get one and I'll, <laughs> and I'll like it. Okay. Of. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna ruin it for me. I don't think so. Maybe There's we'll rice on the bottom. Line. Come on, eat yeah, some get, of the rice. There's rice on the bottom. The rice is oh, the rice frozen. is also frozen. Yeah, I'm trying will. to get as much as I can on here of all the flavors. I feel like I'm gonna have to start grabbing parts with my like a spoon. I'm definitely afraid of the. Yeah, this isn't working. Dude. I'm putting it onto that. Let's just do this. I'm really afraid oh, of the works. green ones because. Well, the pink ones are the fish ones. No, no, the green ones, the fish ones, the pink ones, the seaweed ones. You're joking. I, I am joking, but now good. I want to see what Link does. I'm just gonna eat what's on my spoon, and now I'm gonna air dink it. Dink it. Mm, sing it. It's not. It's not half bad, Josh. Is it? Hey. Is it like frozen caviar kind of? It, caviar are the eggs of the fish. This is the whole body that we just threw in a blender. This isn't that bad, Josh. No, it didn't. Not like the bones. We we didn't eat the bones. I am surprised <laughs> that it's not as bad as the lettuce part of the BLT. It's like I can appreciate the balance of a poke bowl when it when it all becomes ice. I mean, it still tastes fishy, but it's not so fishy. It's it the froseness takes the fishness away. Hmm. Oh, I just got I just got a bad part. Hey, don't make that face. <laughs> Don't let anybody know. Do you make that face when you get a bad part of the poke ball at home? I make this face. <laughs> dad, just, dad, dad definitely is not happy right now, but he doesn't want us to know he's not. Thanks, kids. <laughs> Your treat. Hey, I was not expecting it. Uh, but poke ball, will it dip in dots? Yes. yes. It's been a long, long time since we've had a century egg. Feels like it's been, mm. I don't know, 90 years? Yeah. So before we can decide if Dippin' Dots can handle the essence of this Chinese delicacy, let's get reacquainted with the century egg. I'm sure you're excited about this, Oh link. my goodness. Uh, Josh, we, how does this happen it? again? We've eaten this before? Yeah, it's, uh, at some point. Yeah, well, I believe uh, uh, the eggs are buried in lye and then it solidifies the white and actually turns it into a sort of black ashen consistency. It has a very sort of gelatinous, um, some would say sulfuric taste. I really enjoy them. Oh gosh, it smells so strong. Lean in though. You know, life's boring as it is. You know, lighten it up my, with a century My life egg. is uh, not really boring. 
Uh, it's not a problem I need to solve. Feels like I could clean like this. grout with this. You know what I'm saying? Like it's got this strong cleaner like. Well, let's see. Let's a little bit. I just use my tongue. Dink it. Mm, mm, dink it. It just is a very strong hard boiled egg. Like <laughs> very sulfuric. To give give me some. <coughs> no, no, not that me. Give me that to Stevie. No, not that me. This me. This me wants to try. Oh, Stevie can now. Stevie can taste things now. Hey Stevie, from the shirt. Hey Stevie, you want to try some? Yeah. Some century egg. Yeah, yeah. What'd you say? Yeah. Open wide. Da. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Oh gosh. Nom, 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 nom. How's that? Bring. <laughs> Bring. <laughs> Bring. Hello, Stevie. Oh no, you have to do the voice of the person on the other end. I didn't, that, that was not part of the deal. <laughs> no, you're supposed to say, I love it. <laughs> or, something, or just something like that. Like that's, hold on, so yeah. hold on. We just constructed a world in which Stevie on, on link shirt can taste things, but the only way she can talk to us is by then calling me on my air phone to which I answer and say, hello Stevie. And yeah. she says. It was good. It was good, it was good. It, it, <laughs> I love this universe. It wasn't great. All right, so um, now that we've experienced the century egg, oh. let's see if they can they can be in Dippin' Dots. One hundred years of Dippin' Dots. Bring it in. Uh, it's pretty. It is pretty. It's pretty. How so? How did you you took the the yolk and um. the egg white? It made two different ice creams? It's, we did, yeah, but it's like it, a seafoam color. I love that. Mm -hmm. How'd you make it green? I don't, we, listen man, we just blended a lot of stuff and put it in the chemical that we don't know if we're licensed to have. <laughs> That's what we did, man. I mean, I know this is gonna be better than eating the egg. Cause it's colder. If it's decent, we can market it as decent. Like actually decent. Yeah. Not gonna, it's not well, gonna. And isn't it interesting that the ice cream of the future is reaching back into the past? Yeah. Cause that's what this is. It's supposed to be like an egg that was just like buried for a hundred years. I really do think we have made ice cream of the present. Yep. That's weird. It's the weirdest ice cream I've ever eaten. Here's what I'll say. It's very eggy, <laughs> very eggy. If you like the taste of a century egg, you will love this ice cream because it is this like very pristine representation of that sulfur taste that you get in mm. that yolk. Yes. Um, it's weird, like <coughs> it's I'm, not better. A huge, I'm not a huge fan of that taste. Ah. But it's like a milder, like more dialed in taste. It's milky, but still very eggy. Like even, I, I'm now getting an experience of what egg ice cream would taste like. I think egg ice it, cream it would be a great idea. It's Again, turnt. for people who like that taste so like much. Like egg custard? Yeah, but like egg custard on steroids. And then in the future? In the from future. From the past, bring the it right present. here. So as much as I didn't like this, this is a nice little decent gimmick. It's such a great translation of this. <laughs> even if you don't like it, that I think I mean, I feel like we've got to say century eggs. Will it dip in dots? Yes, yes. totally on board. It was. With that. If that's what you're into. So it, it I'm speechless. Yeah, me too. The things man. that were I thought would be the nastiest actually worked. When you dip and dot eyes something and you make it super super cold, it makes it kind of kind of palatable. Right, but I'll tell you, the crowd pleaser was that uh, the, was pancakes. the first one. The pancakes, you could sell that to anybody, anywhere. At any I don't time. care who you are. Subscribe and click the bell, please. Yeah, it's now it's an imperative. I bet you know what time it is. Hi, I'm Holly. And I'm Mike. And we're celebrating our honeymoon in Stonehenge. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Cheers. And Mike is a voiceover artist. <laughs> <laughs> cool place to be, man. I've been there. Click the top link to watch us build our dream theme park in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. If the idea of Rhett, Link, and Stevie howling at the moon on a sweatshirt appeals to you, well, just go to mythical.com and pick one up.